Hi, this is Al. Uh, I'm uh, here because uh, it's finally uh, getting a little cooler at night. Not much, it's still 90 degrees out here and the humidity is like really high after hurricane uh, or tropical storm, uh, tropical storm uh, uh, Hermine or Hermine, Hermine or whatever it was I went through it dumped a boatload of water everywhere so it's unbearable uh, but anyways <coughs> here's the uh, original array of panels there's a uh, 1.6 kilowatt uh, of panels right here these are sharp uh, 205 watts each and uh, each one of these panels uh, has its own grid tie micro inverter uh, which you can probably see maybe down there that's the uh, micro inverter and that micro inverter is uh, about 200 watts or so so <clears throat> they're almost almost uh, perfectly matched uh, so those are grid tie and you know we, we're getting great electricity from that uh, system and that's been installed oh, since uh, I guess fall of last year of 2009 and there's the uh, Harbor Freight panels that I put together simply because, you know, they were very cheap. And, uh, you know, there's a lot of panels, which is kind of good because if I get something that breaks, I only lose 15 watts. So, they're not the cheapest things, but, uh, you know, for hobbies and, and just, you know, throwing 45 watts at a time, it, it, it's actually pretty darn cheap. Uh, not as cheap as uh, the uh, DuPont panels that I'm going to put up there, which I bought for a buck twenty a watt. Uh, or, uh, I think it was a dollar fifty a watt. Those were actually like really good. <clears throat> as you can see, also the wind turbines are down. Are down. We're going to move them to uh, to two towers. We're going to put two towers, a wind turbine in each tower, and uh, we were getting an awful lot of flexing on that. And the hurricane before last actually took the the um, took the tower down and there's a result of that uh, so i'm not going to mess with you know having two turbines on one tower because the the arms are putting so much flex on that tower that it just couldn't take it and it buckled right in the middle yeah uh, it had nothing to do with the guy wires we got great uh you know anchors uh, almost a thousand pounds in each one so those are really really good and I'm gonna reuse them because I'm gonna put the towers close enough together that I'll be able to reuse them but uh, they're gonna be a new design <clears throat> at any rate uh, a lot of people have been asking about you know when are we gonna do the uh, the DuPont panels well we are uh, I just finally uh, I'm gonna get on it uh, and actually this month is gonna be a real busy month uh, I got two, two 80 amp charge controllers 10 more batteries that are coming online and an electrician that's going to come in and it's going to help me uh, wire everything and transfer 11 circuits, circuits from the house to the uh, to the system and also getting uh, some grid tie inverters as well <clears throat> so uh, here's what I'm doing uh, I used to uh, when I first mounted this I used the regular rails uh, the aluminum rails that, that you can buy for solar panels but these things are uh, very expensive and uh, a real pain in the butt. Uh, I got quoted uh, for anything from $1,700 to $2,500 for the amount that I would need to mount my 20 panels. Which, when I make two rows, one row up there, one row down here, it'll be 36 feet long. So uh, it goes about three quarters of the way down the roof. Um, but anyways, you can see I got I got plenty of roof. This this roof pitch is almost perfect for Texas. This one here uh, is not as good. So what I'm gonna do for this part of the roof here is I'm gonna put <clears throat> a solar water heater, an 80 gallon one, 80 gallon one. Uh, the water hose for the water hoses for the heater are probably gonna come out. So I'm gonna run the top here. Uh, around the middle I would say probably around there I'm gonna snake them through bring it here and I'm probably gonna put uh, the solar water here somewhere somewhere around this general vicinity here in such a way that uh, I gotta be careful that I don't get a shadow here but I don't think that's gonna be a problem <clears throat> and then the rest of the roof is actually gonna have uh, some solar air heaters uh, I've been looking into those and you know with the 30% that we get for uh, 
uh, <clears throat> refund from taxes. It, it's almost, uh, you know, not wise not to spend your money and do it because essentially you're getting it for 30% off. Uh, and either you're gonna pay the 30% to Uncle Sam or you're gonna save it. But uh, in my case, uh, you know, I gotta pay taxes every year. So I might as well save 30% of what I pay in something that's gonna be useful to me and it's gonna lower my electric bill. So I get two benefits. I get lower taxes and I get lower bills. So that's what I'm gonna do. Uh, anyways, let me explain this here. <clears throat> so these are two by fours, uh, pressure treated two by fours. Uh, as you can tell, I have a metal roof and they have it has ridges in it, so I can't just lay a 2x4 down. So there's a 2x4 here, a 2x4 up there, and there's a 2x12 in the middle. Well, why is there a 2x12 in the middle? Because I'm going to have two sets of panels, one up there, one down here, and <clears throat> in between the panels, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put junction boxes. These are going to be my, uh, if I see if it'll stay. But anyways, uh, in between the panels, uh, this way is is gonna be uh, are gonna be uh, these uh, junction boxes, which are gonna be my uh, uh, connection points for the panels. Uh, I got bus bars, two bus bars that are gonna go inside, one for positive, one for negative, and we're gonna have rigid conduit going through, and that's uh, essentially the system. And then once we get that conduit. Uh, we'll tie it off to the end here and we'll probably run it up to the top here and out that way and uh, it'll have to go all the way out to the shed which is a good run the good news is that the wire that comes with these panels is 12 gauge and the panels put out 100 volts so that is the really good news because I get less than 5% uh, voltage drop from the furthest point all the way out to where my batteries are in that shed using 100 volts and then I'm going to use the uh, two Outback 80 amp charge controllers to drop that voltage down to 24 volts so I'm going to change back to 24 volts uh, both for the turbines and also because yeah pretty much every grid tie inverter out there and every system uh, that is worth its salt is uh, made for 24 volts uh, these guys are already pre-wired and everything. The good thing about these outback charge controllers is that uh, it's an electronic setting and I can just tell it what voltage now I want the batteries to be and they automatically adjust for me. That noise you hear back there is my deer feeder. And uh, probably about a half an hour or so, there'll be about a dozen deer down there uh, feeding from it. Uh, anyways, back on task. So <clears throat> what I did here, is this is a, a pretty cool thing because I learned from the first time how much of a pain it is to put these panels without help. So I screwed down this angle uh, steel piece, this angle bracket here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to lay down the panel on top, as, like so, right? And that panel is 55 and a half inches long. So I'm going to, now I can measure from the edge of that up 53 and a half inches mark it with a marker and here's all my box of goodies here there's my marker I'll mark that spot down at 53 and a half and then I'll bolt a 2 by 12 down when I when I then grab the panel and lay it down here when it lays on top of that 2 by 12 it'll lay down with two inches of overlap so, and I'm going to do then uh, obviously the same thing to uh, it's going to be then obviously centered with the top in such a way that now I'll be able to have uh, all of my uh, panels uh, connected in such a way that uh, what do you call it um, that they they are even so uh, everything's uh, getting measured all I have to do now is uh, go ahead and uh, screw this this board down and I'll uh, pretty much be ready for it so tomorrow I'm gonna continue this project I kind of been rambling on because I got other things that I'm looking out for right now that I'm thinking about and uh, been forgetting but uh, tomorrow this board will be laid down on the first four panels will go up that will be tied together and uh, hopefully if I can get uh, eight tomorrow, that's going to be the goal. Uh, that's it for the video. And uh, I will send you an update again tomorrow. Thanks. Take care.